Hello, my name is Metin Albasher. This is 370, I'm so sorry, 327th part of explanation of my theory according to my theory and my formulas. Compton equation Delta energy cannot displace an electron with 9.1 10 to the minus 31 kilogram mass. Compton energy is insufficient for 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram electron acceleration. Yes, according to Compton equation, a photon with 0 0.07 09 nanometer initial wavelength after colliding with an addressed electron and deviating in the 45 degrees direction for instance with losing an energy of 146 point eight electron volts it transfers the same 146.8 electron volts energy to at rest electron as a kinetic energy and this amount energy makes electron gain 7.181 km per second speed this is wrong this is wrong. This energy cannot give the electron this speed. I will show you now. For making a thrust electron with 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram gain, 7.181 kilometer per second speed required energy according to my theory and my formulas is five hundred this five hundred twenty eight thousand three hundred sixty five point seven volts or or here five hundred twenty five thousand one hundred ten point six eight electron volts energy not 146.8 electron volts if an electron with 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram at rest mass moves at a speed of 7.181 km per second the amount of energy that gives it this speed is This 525,110.6 electron volts. Okay. In accepted physics, according to Compton's shift relativistic, Compton's shift relativistic or classical equations when a photon hits a motionless electron say a loosely bound graphite electron it transfers the same amount energy amount of energy it lost to that electron as a kinetic energy so we can deduce the recoiling electron speed from this kinetic energy this is Compton equation Okay, you know, even if the rest mass 
of the electron is assumed to be 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram and thus even if the wavelength is calculated to be 0. Point, zero zero two four two nanometer as the Compton wavelength Compton's relativistic energy transfer from the photon to the electron calculations will be invalid also when the photon with 0, 0.0 709 nanometer wavelength from molybdenum from X-ray tube collide with a stationary electron in target graphite and was deflected in the direction in the direction of 45 degrees 45 degrees okay Forty-five degrees. Yes. Let's look at the speed it gains to the electron. It is assumed to hit in classical and relativistic wave ways. According to this theory, accepted physics Compton. Relativistic theory, Einsteinian theory, electron gains, photon lose 146.8 electron volts energy and electron gain 146.8 electron volt energy. So easily they compute classical relativistically 7.181 or now. What they computed, the speed gained by the electron from this amount of transferred energy is calculated as 7.189 km per second relativistically and 7.191 km per second classically and totally wrongly, wrongly. Is it really possible, is it really possible for 146.8 electron volts energy to give an 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram electron this electron now it is at rest and its wavelength is 0 0.00242 nanometer and its point mass 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram here now it is at rest okay is it really possible for 146.8 electron volt energy to give an 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram electron a speed of 7.189 kilometer per second the initial wavelength of the rest electron mentioned here is lambda normal I say lambda normal, 0.00242 nanometer. Now, I have formulas in here and in there. Look at that. Left side mine, right, right side, wrong side, accepted physics, in accepted physics. Here, my formulas, okay. My shortest shortened wavelength formulas. When we apply voltage, say, a kind of energy to an electron, okay, delta lambda here, if we 7.181, if, if electron speed were VE 7.181 kilometer per second, from my formulas, now I will deduce delta lambda must be delta lambda must be here delta lambda because when an electron motion form 
is in motion in motion direction it's zero degree direction in the zero degree direction shortest shortened wavelength okay opposite direction 180 okay highest wavelength highest wave velocity smallest wave velocity okay and for each degrees there are different wave velocities wavelengths lambda normal minus delta lambda cosine alpha remember I don't want to confuse your, your mind now. Here I can find this is my formula lambda. This is shortest shortened wavelength formula that I put forth. Applied voltage. Okay. I computed 0 0.00058 nanometer delta lambda from here. Lambda normal is 0 0.00242 nanometer. And easily I can I can see okay lambda normal minus delta lambda here 0 0.002362 nanometer from this result I can compute it from my formula applied voltage or energy applied voltage or energy is what by volts 1248 divided by 0 0.002362 is equal to what what so read number okay 500 28,365.79 volts here 528,365.79 volt or or what or 525,110.68 electron volts I will write here required require energy in EV okay here what 5 125,110 point EV. Here. This is. Okay. So, 525,110.68 divided by divided by 146.8 okay 3000 3000 3000 times greater energy than energy than Okay, 146.8 energy. We require electron motion form require to gain 7.181. Okay. Now, this means this energy that Compton equation assume is not sufficient to displace an electron at rest electron from a graphite for instance okay now now yes
I'm sorry. Yes, wrongly, is it? Is it really possible for 146.8 electron volts energy to give an 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram electron speed of 7.189 kilometer per second? <coughs> yes, shortened I have a count. If the electron speed were 7.189 kilometer per second delta V, I computed. Okay. Now, yes, I guess this is enough for this evening. Okay. Lastly, I want to show that if applied voltage was 146.8 volt we would find 8.5 nanometer this means delta lambda is equals to minus 8.5 since the delta lambda must be positive there is inconsistency okay Compton in Compton equation Yes, snapshot here, then snapshot here.